Salve, salve, rapaziada, para você que está vindo aqui nesse momento aqui no YouTube. Nós vamos estar assistindo o Sea of Thieves 2024 Preview Event, que é falando sobre a temporada 12, 13 e 14. Então eu vou só reagir sem pausar o vídeo, porque ele tem 20 fucking minutos. Então vambora. Já deixa o like, se inscreve no canal, ativa a notificação e já sabe, né? Like, like, like. Sea Welcome to the Sea of Thieves. Preview Event, where we're going to give you your first look at some of the exciting features coming to Sea of Thieves ah, beleza, beleza. Eu gostei We disso já. Já gostei disso. Isso daí eu vi alguma coisa. Caramba, que lá é Reapers Without? Eu não posso pausar. Oh! Assassin's Creed! Ai, mano, que da hora. Da hora, da hora. Eu vi o Yoda vendo isso hoje, cara. E eu falei, não vou ver, não vou ver. Sea of Thieves is a pirate sandbox adventure game where players create those stories together. And in the world of Sea of Thieves, there are tools and items that may seem simple on the surface, but when they're in the hands of real players who are playing in their own way and bringing their creativity, ah, that it really uses, it? showcases that the sandbox is more than the sum of its parts as it creates these memorable stories. This year, Beleza. in 2024, Nossa, Air Focus is on giving you mais more, tools, mais more possibilities. And with that freedom out on the waves, give you the possibility to have these amazing moments and really changing up the core moment-to-moment -moment gameplay of the sandbox. Hi, Mike! Mike, meu amigo. Temporada 12, vamos ver o que que vem por aí. The kind of main aims for season 12 are about mixing up the meta and how players enjoy all of the different aspects of Sea of Thieves. So as part of season 12, we're going to be adding two new weapons and three new tools for players to use. One of the main aims for season 12 are about mixing up the meta and how players enjoy all of the different aspects of Vamos de novo então? So Quer de novo? Season 12, we're going to be adding two new weapons and three new tools. New weapons and three o quê? Haven't really delved into since launch. He's adding new weapons. Beleza, isso daí das armas eu tô ligado. That give you new tactical choices and strategies out there on your adventures. So in season 12, we're going to be adding the double barrel pistol. Olha que da hora. Ah, o hit reg vai começar. Tipo pistol weapon where you can fire two shots individually before you need to reload or you can charge them together and release them at once. Bom, bom, Caraca, vai ser EK? New weapon archetype that's a bit shorter range but a faster fire rate, but perhaps not as powerful or damaging as as the flintlock pistol. But then it has the Rapaz, se for 50 de dano igual a pistola, acabou, né? The charge shot to release two pellets at the same time. Ué, é legal, tá? Tá é legal, hein? With another weapon like the cutlass, for example, for a finishing blow can lead to a fast time to kill for a player to be able to Vai esse PVP tá duro aí, viu? Vai do céu. Season 12 also brings in the throwing knives as a weapon. Isso daí vai ser legal, hein? E eles deram spoiler porque tinha um montezinho de faca, né? Also be thrown and used at range as well. You can use it to kind of like grab players with like a quick attack, but that doesn't do much oh. damage. Or you can charge it to like pull it into this kind of oh, dangerous da hora motion, isso. and that will slow the player's movement down and give this like really high damage attack for if you like sneak up behind players. And then finally, it has the ability to kind of flip the knife over, catch isso it, and legal, then tá? throw it at distance against players. Which, isso daí é again, muito kind of da hora, tá? Shot, and they'll do a lot of damage as well. When you throw a throwing knife, and if you miss, you can actually go in the world and it'll stick into any of the geometry and you can just pull it out and then it'll replenish your ammo. So I think personally, for me, this is really good. É legal, sometimes hein? I miss, as I'm Cara, sure some matar esqueletinho que uh, tem so que ficar pegando. Ah, se bem que agora eles dropam munição, né? So you get these wonderful moments where a pirate might throw a knife at you, but then you can retrieve that knife and throw it back to them. So it'll really mix up the kind of combat scenario you can in the world and when boarding other ships. There are three new tools in Season 12. The Wind Caller, the Scatter Shot and the Bone Caller. With the shot, the way that it's different to a standard cannonball is it's a collection of four cannonballs, but they're much Olha, smaller. Olha, parece o canhão do Scorn Bones, né? Aquele que atira tipo uma doze assim, espalhado. And a really widespread, allowing you to hit a target with multiple projectiles at the same time. Ah, pai, really mas que porcaria é isso? Ship, just like a level one size hole, so like... Really quick for players to repair, but it can kind of overwhelm a crew quite quickly. Basically, if you get up close with the scatter shot and you can get a few onto your enemy, they're gonna have a lot of holes and they're gonna have a pretty bad time. What it will do 
is really eat up an opponent's resources. They'd need to use more wood to repair the many holes that the scatter shot puts into the hole. É por esse motivo é bom. So the bone caller is an awesome new throwable that players can wield, and they can throw that on the floor, and when it smashes, all these kind of bones come out, and then skeletons spawn around the player in allegiance to them, and they'll actually fight beside the player against the enemy players Como and é enemy é? AI. Now you might not be going straight for just a normal cannonball or a, or a chain shot. You might, in fact, go straight for the Putz, bone caller, é isso? so you can have some skellies that are on your side pois on that ship, legal, hein, sort of messing things up for that crew. You isso can use fire é to fight fire. So if somebody shoots a bone caller across the sea at your ship and they spawn in. If you have your own bone caller, you could throw that down on the deck and have your own skellies go and fight those uh, to take them out for you so that you don't have to. I mostly play solo and to be able to spawn literally anything that is friendly to my cause while I'm playing is a massive uh, positive. So I'm kind of looking forward to that and I'm sure that other players will <laughs> find ways to make use of it as well. É legal. The wind caller is a new horn-shaped shell that players can blow into to summon the power of the winds. So imagine the scenario that you're heading fully into the wind and you're either chasing someone or you're trying to get away from someone. Now you can use this não tool pode to blow não, wind bicho. into é que yourselves and go even beyond agora? full billow in speed. Players can also use it to kind of knock players back off their ship or on land, so they can kind of target a player, blow into the wind caller, and it will throw them back into the air. You can use it as a means of propulsion for yourself in the water, but also for uh, rowing boats. So you can either ah. use it while you're in the water swimming and you'll blast along like a really fast water boatman, they or you either. can stand on a rowing boat and blast it out of the back like a, a speedboat, basically. You can put out fires and you can do it quickly. So you can just essentially walk around your entire ship is caught on fire and just put out all the fires as so you walk around. And they can even use it to like, stop their fall damage. Like say you're falling a great distance and you use the wind caller below you, like cushion your fall so you like land safely as well. There is like a, a finite charge for how long the wind caller can last for, yeah, yeah. so you have to use it wisely. Com todo respeito. So season 12 also introduces zip lines onto several of the Eww. islands around Sea of Thieves. So you may have seen these ah, as they debuted legal. in Tiro the Monkey Island Tour. And they're a really fun and exhilarating Island, way to traverse. So it's really cool to be able to bring those to oh, the wider Sea of Thieves world. So we've been looking across all the islands of the Sea of Thieves and looking at the most ideal places to kind of mix up the traversal opportunities uh, within all of the islands to add these zip lines across them. So we've added zip lines to like the outpost to get down to your ship quickly. We've added them to the skeleton forts that allow you to kind of zip line between two positions ah, to kind legal, of legal. escape é legal skeletons or é legal. get close to them when they bem. first spawn. Or just general kind of zip lines across the islands for like fast traversal and moving chests around the islands quickly. For example, on Ancient Spire Outpost now, you've got to clunk down some cliffs in order to get to your ship. Now you'll be able to just go and get on the zip line and go flying all the way down to the jetty next to your ship. Pois, é legal. Isso é legal. So alongside legal, gostei, adding completely gostei, brand gostei new tools Menos the ali de vento ali, achei... there's also ah, the yeah. opportunity for us to go back and add completely brand new functionality to existing tools. So another cool new feature that we're adding for season 12 is the ability to balance on harpoon lines. So you can shoot that harpoon line at another ship or another island and then jump onto ah, it and then like balance then across. Vai Depending certo, on the angle in which you fire the harpoon, it'll either be like too steep to climb up it, but if you're on the other end, you can actually jump on the harpoon Caraca, line and like slide Tony down it really quickly back to your ship. We're really confident this will lead to some really inventive é player boarding tactics out there in the sandbox, as well as giving you new ways to traverse the islands. With all this that we're adding in season 12, it gives players more opportunities to create those stories as we're really enriching the sandbox of every session. So we're always really excited to add new tools and mechanics to see at these, but we're always mindful that we want to make sure that the game's health is in a really good position as well, that the integrity of Sea of Thieves is there for our players. And since we're adding new weapons into Sea of Thieves, we're very mindful that we want to ensure that the hit registration in our game is as rock solid as it can be. And this is a, an ongoing yeah, thing for the development team. We're constantly putting time and effort into this area to try and make it as robust as possible. In the past, we've borrowed time from feature teams to address issues in the core experience. But it's always taken a back seat to the features that those teams are working on. In 2024, 2024. this is changing. 
we're securing a dedicated team to focus on the health o of the game, jogo bringing fixes precisa. and improvements to the things that matter most to our players as soon as base, they're ready as part of our regular monthly updates. This is going to be a key focus for the team this year. We want your Sea of Thieves experience to be the best that it can be. Adding new loadout choices as part of upcoming seasons shows our commitment to making encounters between players a more dynamic and fun experience. Oh, But crucially, this all has to operate on a stable combat system. We know that there's still plenty of work to do here, but this remains a top priority for our team. March's update delivered Easy Anti-Cheat, an industry-leading anti-cheat solution designed by Epic. This solution evolves over time, keeping up with cheat developers, blocking them at every turn. This is really, though, just the first step at improving the player experience sobre isso, here não. in Sea of Thieves. We want to focus this year on making Sea of Thieves play better than ever before, whether that be improving the performance of the game across the variety of hardware it runs on, ensuring that it's a safe place to play with a focus on cheating, but also ensuring that our hit registration is as reliable Eu as possible in all of your adventures out there in the same sandbox. Sem M acho que tá muito bom. Temporada 13. Ó, oh, tem a ver com o Flame so Heart. Captain Flame Heart has been a staple and important character of Sea of Thieves for many years, appearing in her novels and appearing in her many tall tales and expanded fiction. With season 13, This brings the return of Aleluia! Aleluia, o bicho voltou. As Flameheart has been resurrected, so has his Burning Blade ship, and it's back in more monstrous and terrifying form than ever before. So we've reimagined it for season 13, and it looks incredible. It almost Esse looks like an, a living entity itself. So traditionally, world events have been at set locations throughout the world. The Burning Blade is a little different. The Burning Blade is oh! a ship and therefore moves around the world. But the twist is, when you've defeated the ship, you have the option to board it and pledge yourself and your crew to Flameheart, enter into his service Aí and é legal become demais, the crew hein? of the Burning Blade. É legal, hein? Essentially becoming a player-created world event yourselves. So obviously we have to go in big with this Caraca, one. At a base, it is larger and more formidable Deus, than any velho. ship we've seen on the waves. This ship has 10 cannons. It has a statue Deus, room dedicated cara. to Flameheart at the back. Que it has isso? a balcony where Flameheart likes to take in the view every morning with his coffee. And most importantly, It's got a massive flamethrower at the front. Players will be able to pull a lever on their ship and fire two massive balls of fire out the front of their ship, which is really interesting because we've never actually had an offensive weapon that's frontal facing before. So I think this is going to create some really interesting dynamic naval combat situations. So once you take over the burning blade, you are on this really powerful tá? warship and you have a skeleton crew helping you as well. So even smaller crews have every chance of crewing the burning blade because the skeletons will come to your aid. So you could have Skeletons repairing Caraca, while you're mano, on the cannons que firing at enemies. Isso, véio, os But vão atirar, mano, it's not just about navio, sailing véio. around the world, which of course you can do. It's about completing orders in service of Captain Flameheart. So around the world, there'll be numerous skeleton camps. You'll notice the Reapers have been conducting excavations on the surface, and they've been dragging up all sorts of ancient artifacts and ancient secrets yeah, from below the surface. Water. Underground, there's basically a chamber with a prism that the players can control to draw out constellations on the ceiling in order to ah, see, help the man. ritual come to completion and get that knowledge of the ancients. Each of these temples contains The secrets of the ancients, da secrets isso, that mano. Flameheart wants. É ativando a lore do Sea of Thieves, né? And as part of taking control of the ship, you'll be able to sail around the world, visit these ancient temples deep below these skeleton camps, engaging new puzzle gameplay, discover treasures. But what you're really after is the Orb of Secrets, a new Aí treasure um artifact milhão. that Flameheart Valeu. wants. Collecting these secrets will add tribute to the Burning Blade ship. Uh. The more tribute that you collect, the more uh. value will be aboard the Burning Blade. But you will lose the Burning Blade if it sinks or when you choose to go and cash that tribute into Flameheart. So it's really up to you how long you think you can hold on to it with that risk Caraca. reward because everybody in the world is going to be coming for you. They're going to know you're in there and know Mas you've got high value. So it really becomes this dynamic player-created world é um... with players Esses versus players in the sandbox. Um so even though you can visit these skeleton camps while in control 
of the Burning Blade, it's not only tightly wedded to that new gameplay, players can also visit them any time in their adventures. So should players visit these skeleton camps when they're not the crew of the Burning Blade, the skeletons won't be too happy that you've found a way inside these camps and you'll be engaging in a combat-focused encounter to discover its secrets. Ah, legal. Se você for really sem o Burning Blade, você vai ter que, tipo, brigar como se fosse um forte. Bring players together and combine Mas esse navio to aí é uma sacanagem, tá? E quando você é o crew of the Burning Blade que quer proteger it, ou everyone else que quer to take it down and steal that value. Everything in season 13 will bring you together. Isso é muito da hora isso, tá? Mas muito da hora isso, muito da hora, principalmente pela pela Lords of Thieves ser reativada, né? So towards the end of the year, we have season 14 and while it's very early for us to talk about, we wanted to share some of their thinking here because it is totally aligned with this vision for what 2024 can be. This laser focus on the sandbox and mechanics that add to the variety of stories you can encounter in Sea of Thieves. Internally, we're referring to season 14 as Pirates of Mischief. Sea of Thieves has always had this playful, mischievous, and funny sense of humor. Uh. And with season 14, we're expanding on that. The two main areas that we're exploring are new ways to stealth and new ways to cause mischief in the world. Uh. So I think a real aspect of the Sea of Thieves experience that we haven't dived too deep into previously is the idea of being a stealthy pirate. So when you think about stealth in Sea of Thieves and enhancing that, imagine being able to crouch and move around the world silently or the ability to hang off the side of an enemy Nossa, ship. Daí, é When hora, tá? we were having these initial conversations about season 14, the first thing I thought of was the cardboard boxes in Metal Gear Solid. Could we allow players to climb into chests and if they choose, they can actually scuttle around with their little legs out the bottom? And also, if they choose to, you know, keep the ruse up, Could other players come along and pick them up like a normal loot chest or treasure chest or whatever and take it onto their ship? So another cool thing that we've been working on is, is the glow dart, which is another new weapon that players can wield from the armory and use that to kind of sneak aboard enemy ships and fire kind of these custom darts into players that will do different effects. So imagine a blow dart that tracks whatever it sticks to, whether that's oh, a ship, is. a chest, an item, a player. Ones that could potentially like lore skeletons so like a specific ah, position so you can throw a firebomb in there or tipo, you know, explode a gunpowder keg or cara pra ele ficar darts that can ou então trigger ele specific uma... sound effects which is quite evil and cunning where you could assim de, board de an enemy ship and shoot the capstone and it sounds like it's dropping or shoot the ladders and it sounds like someone's climbing up them. And then thinking about some of the ways that ah, we want to So much like the kind of blunder bombs or fire bombs, we've been thinking about them being this kind of throwable trap that players can kind of throw into the world. Think of it like a like a spring trap that players can place on the islands to trap skeletons on a bounty or on a fort, or they could place it at the top of their ladders to prevent players from boarding their ships and get caught in this trap. Along with these, we're also bringing a really exciting new tool, and it's the grapple gun. Which Olha, is da hora. Esse a daí eu, daí eu quero ver, at rifle. So it allows you to tra traverse the environment much quicker. Ah, this é muito bom, velho. Vai otimizar muito tempo na cena grande, for example. But you can also harpoon items and other players in. So some of the new cool uses Nossa, we've seen from the grapple gun in our early playtests are, are you know, isso. players firing themselves out of the cannon towards another ship to try and board them and perhaps overcooking it and then using <gasps> the grapple gun to <gasps> fire up the deck and propel themselves down it, or jumping off their ship to like an oncoming <gasps> ship and then using the grapple gun to kind of grapple up and onto Nossa. their ship so that they can board them and, and drop their anchor or have a Mano, fight acabou, with them. To make sure board that, that the vezes, grapple velho. gun is balanced, it does have ammunition. You'll have arrowheads and these essentially break off when you successfully use the grapple gun, meaning you can't continuously keep grappling. There is Deus, a skill velho. to using the gun successfully and accurately and efficiently. Isso daí é o pai do So when we think about 2024, we really think about Caraca, getting to the oh, very heart of what tudo, makes Sea of Thieves great. Como. 
That is your stories é por... ah, powered não, by véi, the design mas... philosophy Como é que vai of tools, com... not rules. Season 12, 13 and 14 are cara, fully exploring that, giving you new options, vezes, new tools, and fundamentally new possibilities that make this game unique and não, special. I think when you look, look at the year ahead for Sea of Thieves, our plans for Season 12, Season 13 and Season 14, it's kind of making this shift away from these big kind of systemic changes to Sea of Thieves and returning back to the core of what makes Sea of Thieves so special, the heart of Sea of Thieves, about giving players new tools to create Arpão, new né? stories. I like it. We're Nós vamos poder puxar os piratas também, meta, será do barco? Giving players new tools Mirar no to learn and master. And I can't wait to see what combinations ele. players start settling on before we shake it back up again. While everything that you're seeing today is still work in progress and possibly subject to change in some ways, we will be giving more insights onto how these things are developing. Vai, tem que dar uma arma mais puxar no pelo, então. Each of them. With the richness of all these new seasons and of course PlayStation Pirates joining us as well, it is such an exciting year for Sea of Thieves in 2024. Thank you for joining us for the Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event. We hope we've enjoyed this sneak peek at what's coming throughout the rest of the year. There's still a lot more to reveal for these seasons, so palmas, keep an eye on the horizon as we'll have more to share closer to each season's launch. For more information and to keep up to date with what's new in Sea of Thieves, in check League out our of social the channels. So until our paths Welcome. cross again, Subscribe. happy sailing, and we'll and see you on Give me your like, man. <gasps> Olha o final! Meu Deus, uma coruja! Que da hora, mano! Apesar de né, ninguém usar pet, mas é muito bom uma coruja, velho! Muito bom, velho! Muito bom, muito bom! Muito bom, da hora, da hora! Só tem uma coisa a dizer: tudo isso vai ser insano! Se. Se. O Antichit for melhorando a cada temporada. Para que a gente consiga aproveitar todas essas, é, essas atualizações da melhor maneira possível. Então, jogue de maneira saudável. É, nossa comunidade é difícil crescer por conta de, das pessoas que expulsam outros piratas. Então, seja você uma pessoa a contribuir para que o jogo seja um jogo saudável. Jogue da maneira certa. É muito mais legal e divertido você jogar assim do que você... É, tem um maquinado por aí, apertar um botão pra fazer tudo pra você. Melhore, tá? Você que é esquisito e fica aí jogando com... Melhore, tá? A vida é muito, muito mais legal sem isso. Então esse foi o vídeo de react sobre tudo que vai chegar é, provavelmente em 2024. E é isso, gostei bastante. Eu acho que a única coisa que eu não gostei realmente foi daquela... Aquela trombeta que achei... Achei zoado, principalmente pra quem é player solo e pra quem joga de chalupa, né? Como é que você vai correr de um galeão contra o vento, sendo que o cara só a vela dele te pega em dois minutos? Então, achei zoado aquele item, eu acho que pode cancelar esse item e jogar no lixo. Mas o restante achei muito da hora, achei a faca da hora, double pistol parece ser legal, mas vai ser uma porcaria também, eu acho. É, ninguém usa pistola, eu não acho que vai ser legal de usar, eu não vou usar, mas a faquinha, filho, vai ser bem legal. Deixe seu like, se inscreve no canal, ative a notificação e não perca nenhuma live, nenhum vídeo novo aqui do canal Liga de Jorel. E assine o nosso... Assine não, né? E se inscreva também no nosso canal de gameplay, é, Liga de Jorel Gameplays, onde eu posto partes das lives lá, beleza? Tamo junto? É, eu faço live de sexta, sábado e domingo e quando tem evento e drop no Self-Tips. Tamo junto! <música>